Hi guys, David here. Um, I wanted to share something with you that's kind of special. Well, it's kind of special to me. Um, about maybe eight or nine years ago, just before I was getting ready to move out of home for the first time, my mum wrote down these fantastic recipes on little bits of note paper. And when I moved out, I had to sort of start cooking for myself and these recipes really came in a lot of handy. But I misplaced them. I don't know where they went. And uh, I was really upset because after mum died, I really wanted to have these recipes and I couldn't find them anywhere. Well, about a couple of days ago when I was moving everything around trying to find somewhere to put this new uh, workbench in the kitchen, I actually found this. It's a folder and inside it is <laughs> another folder. And inside this folder is all these fantastic little bits of paper written by my mum. These are all these wonderful recipes and I wanted to just sort of share them with you. Um, they're falling to bits because they're really sort of old bits of paper, like nearly 10 years old. I think what I'll do is I'll scan them onto the computer and that way I'll have a better copy of them and I can print them out again. Um, she's written down bechamel sauce, uh, which is more or less how I make my bechamel sauce with flour, butter, milk, uh, shepherd's pie, she's written down how to make shepherd's pie, which is, again, more or less the same as the way I did. I add a few bits and pieces to it. I don't know what this is. Uh, I think this is banana bread, but it's not written in my mum's handwriting, so I don't know... don't know where that one came from. Somebody's written it down, though. Looks like a nice recipe, though. It's got yogurt and things in it. Um, oh my god! Fudge. Yeah. This is mum's legendary fudge. It's guaranteed to rot your brains as well as your teeth. Two tablespoons of sugar, mixed brown and white. Half a pint of milk. Oh, this must have been written down a while ago. Why did she write a half a pint? Four ounces of butter and two teaspoons of vanilla. Is this one of those really convoluted ones? Put sugar and butter... Put sugar, butter, and milk in saucepan over low heat to melt sugar. Increase heat and bring to boil. Boil steadily for 20 to 25 minutes. Remove from heat and cool slightly. Place in mixing bowl and beat until thick. Add vanilla and pour into greased tray. This is actually one of the simpler versions of a fudge. The more complicated ones usually contain instructions for candy thermometers and sort of raise it to the temperature of the sun and whatnot. Uh... Beef bourguignon. Oh, now beef bourguignon, now that's nice. Uh, bacon, beef, carrot, onion, red wine, tomato paste, garlic, onions, mushrooms, bay leaf. Mmm. Ah, and this is a slow cooker recipe as well. Mmm. I might actually do this for a video. This could actually be a really good video, this one. Because I'm always getting people asking for more recipes for the slow cooker, so I might put that aside and do that. And what's this one? Grecian beef casserole. Kilo of beef or lamb, large onion, potatoes, carrot, garlic, eggplant, beef stock, tin tomatoes. I have no recollection of my mother ever making this. Mainly because the eggplant's thrown me, because I don't ever recall my mother ever cooking anything with eggplant in it. This is another slow cooker one as well. I'm, I might have a go at that as well, because that looks quite interesting. I might do that with the lamb, though, because it says beef or lamb, and it's crucial beef casserole, so I guess lamb casserole. And, oh, the holy grail. This is, this is what my sisters would kill for, and if they asked me, I'd be happy to give them a copy. It's, this is an example of my mother writing things in code. Now, it says at the top there, if you can see that, Beef strips in tomato cream sauce. Now, in actuality, this is not beef strips in tomato cream sauce. This is actually her recipe for beef stroganoff. Now, why she has written it in code is beyond me, but it's a bit of a running joke in our family because my mum used to make this incredible beef stroganoff. It was the most amazing dish. And no matter how many times my sisters tried to reproduce it, it would never come out right and it even got to the point where mum would actually invite them round, tell them to do it, and she would actually show them how to do it in front of her, and 
they could never get it right. They could never get it right. Well, I have the actual recipe. I'm totally stoked at that. I'd forgotten all about this. Mmm, that's yum. And what have we got on the back here? Recipe for meatballs. Mince, onion, mint. Uh, parsley, rice. Beef stock, yolks. Juice of one lemon. That's an interesting recipe for meatballs. I've never heard one with lemon in it. That actually sounds really nice. Hmm. I might give that a go as well. I'm so glad I found these because, I mean, aside from the fact that they're great recipes, it's a great sort of connection to my mother who obviously has passed away and you can actually smell her on these. It's funny. It's sort of, it really brings back a lot of memories. Well, I just wanted to share that with you. I don't know if you guys actually found that particularly interesting or not, but yeah, if any of those recipes interest you, please let me know and I will add them to the list of videos to be made in the future. And in the meantime, I'm going to go and hide the fudge recipe because I will actually make this a lot. If it's if, if I can make it even half as good as my mum did, be scared. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you to your fun. Keep out of trouble.